Hi everybody, some of you might remember that about three years ago I had done a review on a burlesque fashion corset and uh, some of you might remember at the time I had said that I was pretty upset because the sales clerk who had sold this uh, fashion corset to me at the time from a local store uh, had lied to me about the construction of the corset. Well, three years have gone by and a lot of burlesques um, corsets have basically turned over, they have some new stock. So they had contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to try out one of their new corsets. So I agreed and right now I'm wearing their Athena Longline Underbust Corset. This is from the Steel Bone section of their website. So here's the front. Side. The back. And the other side. This is actually one of the longest courses I've ever tried. From the center front, the height of this is 14 and a half inches, and on the side seam, which is sh the shortest part, it's actually closer to 12 inches. So this corset is definitely only for people with a very long torso, unless you don't intend to sit down in it. If you have a bit of a shorter torso, you might find that if you try to sit down in this corset, it's either going to dig into your lap or it's going to push up on your bust area. So I would definitely recommend this for people who are of taller stature, or people who have longer torsos in general. I find the silhouette of this corset to be fairly flattering. It's somewhere between the modern slim silhouette and a gentle hourglass. Uh, when I measured this corset, it actually does have a decent amount of curve to it. What I'm wearing right now is the size 24, and the underbust area is about 30 inches, and the low hips here are 36 inches, so it's actually gaping away from my hip area a little bit right here. Um, so this corset accommodates up to a 12 inch hip spring. So here's the Athena corset, and for the materials, there are two main layers in here. The fashion fabric is this black satin and then on the inside you can see that the strength fabric is this black cotton twill. This is what the burlesque tag looks like so you can see the trademark cherries there and uh, for the materials you can see that the satin is 100% polyester, the lining is 100% cotton. For the construction and the pattern of this corset, this has a six panel pattern. One, two, three uh, makes the front, and then four, five, six makes the back. You can see that most of the hip is uh, drafted to be in the third, fourth, and fifth panel here, and that the bones converge down towards the, the lower uh, front, the center front here. For the actual assembly of this corset, I think that the fashion fabric and the lining were flat lined together, then the panels were assembled using a top stitch because I do see multiple stitching along each panel here. And interestingly, there were external boning channels laid down, so it's not the sandwich method like some other off-the-rack corset uh, brands use, but this actually has external channels. There's a waist tape in this corset on both sides here. It's three quarters of an inch wide and made from a type of ribbon but it only extends from the second panel to the fifth panel. So these four panels here, these are protected against the waist stretching from tension. Uh, however, the first panel and the last panel don't have the waist tape there. So those panels are susceptible to having a little bit of give, a little bit of stretching out over time. Here's a close-up of the binding. It's made from uh, bias strips of the same matching black satin as the rest of the corset here, so it's all the same shade of black. It's machine stitched on the outside and on the inside. You can see it's uh, a little bit of a, a top stitch there, but I don't mind. It's quite neat. And there are six garter tabs in this corset, three on each side. The modesty panel in this corset is about six inches wide and it's attached to one side with a line of stitching. So if you don't like modesty panels, you're free to remove this if you like. Uh, I would say this gives about four inches of usable space. It's unstiffened, as you can see here, but it's still two layers. The, um, the pretty thick uh, satin as the fashion fabric and once again the twill on the inside. The busk of this corset is 12 and a half inches long. It's a standard flexible busk, so it's half an inch wide on each side. It is further supported by a flat steel bone on either side of the busk. And you can see that it has um, six loops and pins here, and the last two pins are a little bit closer together for a bit more control over the lower tummy. This corset technically has 26 bones, 13 on each side. Um, although it does have some steel bones in them, I have to report the truth and say that it is not completely steel boned. Uh, when I try to attract a magnet to it, I know for sure that both the busk and the stay at the side there, that is steel boned, as well as these two bones in the back of the corset. So this corset has um, six 
for sure steel bones in here. However, these ones on the side are not ferrous at all. They don't attract a magnet here. <clears throat> so I did open it up and take a peek and they still do use some plastic boning on the sides here. Um, so I do believe that it would be better if they had used spirals instead of plastic on the sides. That being said, they are a heavier duty type of plastic bone compared to their last corset that I had reviewed three years ago. This one I find is less susceptible to bending or warping. Um, it's very similar to the type of boning that was used in the Gallery Serpentine corsets that I had reviewed in the past as well. Um, so it is a minor improvement, but I would really prefer for this entire corset to be completely steel boned. Here's a close-up of the grommets. There are 26 of them, so 13 on each side. They are two parts of them, the top part and the washer, and they're finished in silver. These ones, I don't know if they are size zero or if they're actually size one because the internal diameter here seems to be quite large. It can accommodate uh, some bulkier laces if you prefer to switch some the, these out for uh, thicker ribbons if you wanted. Here's the back of the grommets, so they have a decent size washer. Um, none of them appear to be pulling out, I'll, but I'll continue uh, watching these grommets as usual. Um, the back of every single one of these have multiple splits in them, but I find that it doesn't actually catch on the laces, so it's not a huge point as long as they stay in. The laces themselves are about 1 8th of an inch wide, very dense nylon cord. Um, I find that they actually grip pretty well. Um, I, I don't find that it's sliding open a whole lot. The price for the Athena Underbuzz corset on the Burlesque website is £50 in the UK, which converts to about $80 in the US. So this concludes my review of the Longline Athena Underbus corset made by Burlesca. I hope you enjoyed it or you learned something new. If you did, then please remember to click that like button. It helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Burlesca in general, please feel free to leave it down below and I'll get back to you as best as I can. And I will see you guys after the weekend for another video. Bye.